and um, I put a lot of bird feeders up and I love to sit out here and look at the side garden we'll take another look outside here and at the, all the birds and there's the pool and there we are at the other side there's Whitney Bark and she knows I'm here um, this year I instead of planting begonias in the flower pots underneath the tables I put in, oh, what do you call those? That's all right, you know what they are. And they've done fairly well. Norby and Kay gave us the hanging basket. It hasn't done real well. Here comes Riley, he's barking at me. He's not quite sure who this is. <laughs> Hi, Riley. It's Mom. <laughs> the climbing roses have done real well. I just cut a lot of those back, but the ones that my mom, I mean roses that my mom got from the old dime store in Waukegan, I've divided them and they just keep growing. I, now, new ones today, I can't keep going. The white clematis on the bird feeder there did really well. I have filled the bucket with begonias again and put more ground cover in along the walkway here so it should do real well filled in more ground cover in here I've had a problem with the bird feeders growing the grass underneath but I keep pulling it out so we'll be okay in the bird bath and I filled the bucket here with begonias and and that big ivy from Jamaican gardens and um, it's made a pretty walkway. I worked on it. And the buckets this year, at first I filled with just, I just decided to use petunias. So I used blue and yellow. And I just threw in a few of the kind of raspberry color with the yellow centers. I thought that'd be pretty. And we got the pool finally cleaned out. We're using new stuff, Vagisil, this year instead of chlorine. It's been working real well keeping it real clean. Um, the hanging, the box that I, I always have trouble with this, drying out or whatever, so I put vinca vine and begonias and oh, we've got all kinds of little hanging things and, and it's, it's doing fairly well. And over here I put in some marigolds and um, some petunias. The backyard, I really worked at it, the grass. Um, planted lots of grass seed this year and it's really paid off. Here we go, I got some little candle lights in Traverse City to put in. I light them up at night in the flower buckets. It looks really pretty. Over at my little, what I call my cutting garden. Um, the seeds haven't done real well this year. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, the one thing that's done real well are the sweet peas there. You can see the sweet peas starting to climb on the fence. My mother always said you plant sweet peas on Good Friday no matter when it is or when the weather is and they'll do real well. Well she was right. This is the first year I've done that and they're really pretty. We'll take another look at that garden in a minute. I planted some impatience along the side and we've got some euonymus along the side. So. Um, the grass is pretty long right now, but it really is green and it's done real well. That, if you remember, looked like the Olympics um, emblem. It had circles from Whitney running around last year, but we made this little cage for her over there and and it's helped our yard a great deal. Like you can see, finally we had our corkscrew willow, Chris, cut the last down. It kind of just died off. but. There's Stacy's tree everybody made fun of. Look at how big that's gotten, that poplar. And then along the fence we did clear out, and I'm just going to let the trees grow. And there is that nasty vine that chokes everything out. I'm not sure where it comes from. We keep cutting it back. We planted some new bushes in and planted a lot of grass seed. It really looks kind of bad right now. But I'll take a picture of our, some film of our yard later when the grass is mowed and it looks good. Here I put, I got up in um, Traverse City at the Wild Bird store that I really like and I planted some perennials in here and I decided, look out Riley, I decided to plant 
put the rose bushes in here by the back door because it gets so much sun. And um, I, as you know, our pussy willow died last, last year, so I put a new one in, and this year it's really going to town, so it should do real well. Here's a look at all our grass. Looks pretty good. Planted some flowers underneath the little apple tree, crab apple tree, and planted some flowers in front of the gates or the fence. And then along here, the grass wouldn't grow underneath the tree again, so planted some ground covers and put some impatience in and kind of tried to fix this up. The yellow climber here, we kind of let go. We did have one rose off of it this year, so that's good. And planted some, there's peonies and perennials in here, so we'll see how it looks. And then down the back, I had to be real careful of the dog do here, and the mosquitoes are just about doing me in right now. I think it's going to rain again today. But the fir tree has just gotten so thick. It's so pretty. It's filling in that whole area over by the pool. And then I made this sign this year. Where is it? Those who can garden and those who garden can. I thought that kind of set it, put it in perspective. And the flowers here, I planted a lot of little different things. Of course, this isn't a good time because of the lawn, but um, I planted a variety of different things, as you can see in there. And some of it has done well, and some hasn't. Um, we had a, a raccoon or something bed in one night, and Dusty went after it, and or Riley went after it, and raccoon dug a hole and dug everything up so it's kind of the starting over but um, now we'll go inside and take a look at the flower garden inside here inside the garden um, the delphinium were really pretty this year I've had to cut them back but you can kind of see a lot of the perennials have done really well but the seeds haven't and I've dug up or planted a lot of um, things to just stick in. So we'll take a look later and see. There's my my scarecrow bird feeder. Birds really like that and like that little corner by the fir tree. And look at those sweet peas. We've got all different colors. They're doing real well. And um, all the daisies and everything in here. I'm just going to kind of let it go and just see what happens this year because the, I had to put a new climbing rose in. It has pink blossoms, pink roses on it on this side and red on the other because I couldn't get the same one. And over here I planted a lot of different things because the seeds just didn't come up. But I'm still hoping that, that they'll still come. We'll just take a video of this later. This side, the if they haven't done real well, but they're there and they're coming, so we'll just see what happens. And this is looking out from our yard. It's getting pretty, pretty secluded. It's looking next door. You can hardly see next door anymore because of all the trees. Wow, those mosquitoes are wicked. There's Whitney over there. She wants to be in the video, too. We better go take a look at her. Where's Whitney? Hey, Whit! What you doing, huh? There you are. Hey, Whit! Hey, Whitty! Well, I better close for now. Put the wood pile. We put garden cover. And, and even down here, down the side, we have lots of green grass now. So the yard looks pretty good. We've worked hard. We'll take a look at it later. That's all for now.